Hello, my name is Kathy, and I am here to talk to you about what you do with a chance, especially one that seems a little too big or a little too wild or crazy or just out of reach. Do you hold back? Do you act like you don't care? Do you let it slip away? This is a story of some remarkable chances and a child who doesn't know quite what to do with them. But the more chances come around, the more the child's fascination grows. And then one day, with a little courage, the chance makes all the difference. This is a story for anyone at any age who has ever wanted something but was afraid of risking too much to get it. It's a story to inspire you to embrace the chances that come into your life because you never know you just never know when a chance once taken might be the one to change everything. This is a story written by Kobe Yamada and it's illustrated by May Beeson. What do you do? with a chance. One day, I got a chance. It seemed to show up. It acted like it knew me, as if it wanted something. I didn't know why it was here. What do you do with a chance, I wondered. It fluttered around me. It brushed against me. It circled me as if it wanted me to grab it. I started to reach for it, but I was unsure and pulled back. And so it flew away. I thought about it a lot. I wished I had taken my chance. I realized I had wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided to try as a chance. I went to reach for it, but I missed and fell. I was embarrassed. I felt foolish. It, it seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel this way again. So, after that, whenever a chance came along, I ignored it. And the more I ignored it, then the less they came around. Until one day, I noticed, I noticed I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they had all disappeared. I started to worry. What if I don't get another chance? I know 
I acted like I didn't care. But the truth was, I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid. I wasn't sure if I would ever be brave enough. Then, then, I thought, maybe I don't have to be brave all the time. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while at the right time. I realized it was up to me. I promised myself that if I ever got another chance, I wasn't going to hold back. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. Then, one seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shiny far off in the distance. Is it possible? I hoped. Could this be my chance? I had to find out. I ran as hard and fast as I could toward it. I don't know how to explain it, but the second the second I let go of my fears, I was full of excitement. It wasn't that I was no longer afraid, but now my excitement was bigger than my fear. As I got closer, I could see that this was a really huge chance. But this time I was ready. As it came by, I reached out and grabbed it. I held on with all of my might. It felt so good to soar, to fly, to be free. I now see that when I hold back, I miss out. And I don't want to miss out. There's just so much I want to see and do and discover. So, what do you do with a chance? You take it because it just might be the start of something incredible. What do chances become? New friendship, exciting opportunities and daring discoveries Wonderful, wonderful memories. Chances are invitations to grand adventures. Tickets to unforgettable experiences. And doors to a whole new world. Chances help you see who you are. What you want. They help you decide where do you want to go. They are opportunities. Chances are opportunities to do something. They are possibilities that something will happen. This book is about the power of the positive. And it invites you to support young people 
and exhibit positive habits of the mind. It, it encourages you to mentor healthy risk taking and the gift of failure. So be brave, be inspired, see the good and take action. Until next time, bye for now.